Okay, so uh, today we'll be attempting the Edexcel IGCSC ICT 2019 practical paper. Okay, and uh, in this paper, the first activity that we have, activity number one that we have is graphic designing activity. Okay, also a quick reminder, if you have uh, any questions or if you require these data files, uh, you can drop an email uh, to this address and I'll be, uh, and I will be able to respond uh, with the data files for you. Further, if you have any questions as well related to uh, the activity that is being just done, you can drop an email to this address and as soon as possible, I'll try and get back to you with an answer. Okay. Okay. Without any further delay, let's uh, get started on our paper. This is the 2019 May paper and uh, initially we have the graphics designing activity that needs to be completed okay so uh, if you come down over here very important that you know the scenario and every paper is based upon one scenario okay so this is about a uh, celtic spring scuba so they teach diving and offer diving trips around the world these are their contact details and over here they have mentioned something called house style so this house style is something that was started in the 2018 papers onwards we have something called a house style and this is a kind of form that you have to maintain throughout the paper so whenever you produce a database report whenever you produce a letter okay you have to stick to this house style okay uh, I'll be showing you how to use it okay so for now just keep in mind that there is something called a house style that we need to uh, uh, follow when creating company documents examples as reports letters okay when creating such uh, things we will have to stick to this house style okay uh, Task A1, it says Simon needs a logo that will be used on some of the company's documents. He has an image he want as a part of the logo, but it needs editing. Okay, so let us first do this gray color area where it says we have to open a new word document. We have to enter these details in the header. Okay, please note it's in the header and the document has to be saved as task A1. So what I would be doing is I already have a folder and inside this folder I already have my 2019 data files okay so it would be great if you can have all your files in one location itself so inside this 2019 folder itself I'm going to be creating a new word document and the name of this document as you remember in the question paper they told us it is going to be task a1 okay so I have already saved the word document the word document has already been saved and let me open it up and uh, immediately run down to the footer so this sorry i have to enter it in the header right if you remember the question paper said enter these details in the header so you can see this is the header area you can double click over here and the header will open or you can simply come to insert and you can say header and you can click on edit header okay so over here you're supposed to be typing task uh, a1 your name so i'll just put my name my candidate number and my center number okay so these details have been entered okay so once you're done with that you can click close header and footer the next one the question paper goes on to say create the logo the logo must be fit for purpose and include the scuba diver image image from the images folder so i do have an images folder which consists of a lot of images so i have to use one of those images for my logo okay the image should be edited to remove the background and I also have to include the company name or CS Scuba. Okay, so these are the two requirements uh, that I have to fulfill when creating the logo. Okay, so now when you come to your images folder, <coughs> sorry, you would notice that you have all these images with you. Okay, uh, the question paper specifically says use the scuba diver image. Okay, so you can see over here we have something called scuba diver and what I need to do is I need to be removing the background and I need to put the letters. What are the letters? I need to put the company name or I need to put CS scuba over it. So since I need to be removing the background, I'll be using Photoshop. Okay, because in paint you cannot remove the background while in Photoshop uh, you will be able to remove the background. Let me show you how it's done. So uh, let me open up Photoshop first we come to start and open up sorry what's happening okay so I'm opening up Photoshop on my device it's loading so uh, it's a bit of a heavy program so you'll have to give it a few seconds for it to load okay so now Photoshop has loaded now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a drag and drop and make sure you don't drop it in the middle you should drop it on the top area okay so drop it over here as you can see the scuba diver image has opened okay now the first thing that the question paper told me was remove the background okay 
so if you are familiar with photoshop we have this tool called the magic eraser so what a magic eraser does is it will remove whatever color you click on okay it will remove that specific color so over here can you see we have the eraser tool now inside the eraser tool you have something called eraser tool you have background eraser you have magic eraser okay so when you come to the eraser tool you will have to select magic eraser or you can use the shortcut key e okay so let me just click on the move tool watch when i press e uh, it immediately jumps to the eraser tool okay so you will have to right click from over here and say you want the magic eraser tool okay once you're done with that you can simply click on this gray color background can you see the background has gone these check checked boxes means there is no background okay that's what it means so i'm going to remove this and uh, this and then there's small gap over here as well let's remove this as well okay so now the background has been completely removed okay once again i'm reminding you these boxes means it is transparent that there is no background and then the next thing that the question paper wanted me to do was i have to put the letter c s kuba okay so over here i have a text box can you see this is a text box tool okay i'll just take it and i'll draw a very simple text box maybe somewhere over here okay something like this and over here i have to put c s kuba okay c s kuba okay if you want you can select it and right at the top you have different fonts you have different styles you have different sizes you have different colors okay so let's just keep it at uh, around maybe 80 points okay that looks better let's stick to black color so i have my uh, color picker tool so from here i'm going to take it make it black color say okay and if you want to move the text up and down just take the move tool take the move tool make sure you are on the correct layer can you see where my cursor is right now this is the logo and this is the text layer so first make sure you are on the correct layer then this is the move tool as you know this is the move tool so with this tool you can move wherever you want the text to be here okay now once you're done with this it's very important on how you save the file see if you go to save the file when you come to file and when you come to save as now we need to know what is the name we need to give so the name we need to save it as cs kuba logo this is the name that we need to save it as okay now when you're saving an image that does not have a background ensure that you save it in png format okay so we put the name cs kuba logo cs kuba logo okay let us put the name and ensure you're saving it in png format because if you save it in jpeg format automatically a white color background is going to appear okay so ensure that you save it in png format so right now i'm saving it in png i'm going to click on save uh, then my computer asks a question you can just say okay for this okay now the file has got saved let's go into my folder <coughs> as you can see this is the logo that i have saved okay so when i open it up when I open up, can you see these checkered boxes are appearing? So these checkered boxes means that there is no background. The background is transparent or it does not have a background. Okay. So uh, next, what am I supposed to be doing? Insert a copy of the logo into document task A1. Okay. So this logo, I need to copy and paste. So right click. Uh, let's copy it. Or oh, you can use a shortcut key, control C. And you can come to Microsoft Word. You can right click and say paste or you can use the shortcut key control V. OK, so now your image has been pasted. OK, then <coughs> over here in task A1B, they ask you answer this question on document task A1. Explain one drawback of using a bitmap image for a logo. So a bitmap image examples are JPEG, PNG. OK, these are examples of bitmap images. OK, so bitmap images are images that have a limited number of pixels in it. OK, so for example, if you take this image, this is a bitmap image. OK, so what happens is it has a limited number of pixels in it. So what happens is when I start zooming in, when I start enlarging it, you can see the quality is starting to drop. Can you see it's starting to become blurry? It's starting to become distorted. Okay, so this is a problem with bitmap images. Bitmap images have a limited resolution, have a limited number of pixels. So you will not be able to enlarge in the image. You will not be able to resize the image without its quality dropping. Okay, so we can put that point over here. Okay, over here we can say uh, in bitmap images, the image cannot be enlarged, enlarged 
or resized without its quality dropping or image appearing this dotted okay so this is one of the disadvantages of using a bitmap image okay so when when you start to enlarge in it or when you start to resize it you will notice the image becoming blurry or you can say the quality is dropping or you can say the image is appearing distorted okay the opposite of bitmap is something known as vector so this is something that we have explained in our theory classes we have when it comes to vector images each time you enlarge in it each time you zoom into the image there is a mathematical formula running in the background that is automatically resizing the pixels so the pixel never get stretched they never get distorted they never get blurry okay so but when it comes to bitmap you do not have this mathematical formula as such running in the background so when you zoom into the image the quality starts to reduce because the pixels are getting stretched okay so with that we have now come to the end of uh, task a which is the uh, graphics designing activity okay uh, next we will be moving on to task a2 which is a database activity